Five tips for Final Frontier. Number one, read the card. You know that thing they teach you at school about exam technique, where half the problem is you didn't read the question properly and that's why you're the tallest kid in your calculus class? Yeah, same thing. It's very easy to misunderstand the choice you're being given and accidentally upset or please the wrong people. When one of your faction meters is teetering on the edge of red, you need to be positive who you're going to help or displease with your next swipe. There's no time limit, so read the request, then read it again. Number two, never forget a face. You'll start to see certain characters appearing again and again in the game. Play detective, work out what their angle is. It's easy to assume that a representative of the indigenous Martians will have their people's interests at heart, but this isn't always the case. Once you work out their true motives, it becomes much quicker and easier to make decisions when they pop up on your screen in future. Number three, be ruthless. Heavy is the head that wears the crown, and being a good leader means making tough decisions. You can't win this game by sticking to a specific moral code or choosing allegiances. This is a game about balance and harmony, about placating your subjects one minute, then telling that same subject to get stuffed the next. It doesn't matter how reasonable the request is, if agreeing to it is going to tip your faction meter over the edge, you gotta shut it down. Never forget, it's cold out there in space. Number four, death is not the end. Like with actual life, you'll want to avoid death for as long as possible. However, unlike actual life, death in Final Frontier is not the end of your diplomatic career. Starting over gives you a fresh beginning, but also an opportunity to die in a different and potentially exciting way. Over time, you'll start to build up a collection of deaths, a record of your varying autocratic failures. If you don't mind a little recreational self-destruction, collect all the possible deaths in the game and try and find all the different endings as well. No, it's not weird. You're weird and your mum dresses you funny. And finally, number five, modifiers. Occasionally, Final Frontier lets you tip the scales with modifiers. These change the rhythm of your game and give you incentives to please or anger certain factions. Unlock all the golden modifiers and you'll not only perform better at the negotiating table, you'll also be able to avoid certain types of death. Which is all any of us want, really. Good luck. <laughs>